for a typhoon. I have Thailand is gearing up for a typhoon. I have never experienced a typhoon or a hurricane or any of those natural disasters. I also experienced my first earthquake here, by the way, like the second day I was here. Insane. Um, so I bought some stuff to like prepare. And well, let me show you what all I got. Thing. I have these chocolate like snack cookie things. I picked up these Pringles, the sour cream pie. J just when I thought, just when I thought it would have been something that would have been probably useful for, I'm not saying food can't be useful, but chips and and whatever the hell that was at the very beginning, cookies, chips and cookies, dude, for a typhoon? Do you not know what typhoon is? That's a crazy ass word, typhoon. Bro, nah, dude, uh, you would have thought if somebody said, what are you prepare? What are you doing to prepare for a typhoon? I'm getting cases of water. I'm getting batteries. I'm getting flashlights. I'm getting tons and tons of stuff that I can use. Maybe like battery packs for like charging your phone and stuff like that to ensure that you have uh, your phone consistently always on. Your flashlights is always on. Batteries for that. Toilet paper. I don't know, bro. It's a typhoon, right? Odds are you might be in your house for a little bit of time before the the the, the water subsides or whatever. I don't know personally, but I know damn well that Pringles. And <laughs> cookies are not the ideal things to be eating or getting when there's a typhoon, man. But then again, it is jelly bean sweet. I mean, she's got her priorities in check. So, you know, very, very beautiful. Also, that double chin, definitely coming in. Definitely coming in real strong, dude. Um, damn, slowly but surely, her face is expanding, which is beautiful because this is exactly what she wants. She wants people to see her being big. But today, we're watching jelly bean sweets. People have requested it. I don't like jelly bean sweets personally. I don't like what she does. I don't like how dry her hair is. I don't like how crunchy it is. I don't like how she doesn't take care of her teeth. Teeth whitening strips, okay? Like, I get it. We all drink coffee. Everybody has a caffeine addiction. Literally, everybody has a caffeine addiction today. I have a caffeine addiction. You have a caffeine addiction. We're adults. We drink caffeine. I know some people that are drinking over a gram of caffeine every single day. I don't know how they're still alive, but they are. So, you see these people that have these brown ass yellow teeth. This is what you got to do, okay? Go on Amazon and just type in teeth whitening strips and just buy a few of those. Just apply them every day, every other day, and then you're good. You'll be chilling. You have whiter teeth. You're looking more delectable. Maybe in, maybe invest in some like hair masks or something like that. Overnight conditioners. Wear a bonnet. There's a bunch of things that you can do. But Jelly Bean Sweets refuses to do any of that because I think she's really feeding into the obesity. She's really feeding into the feederism, if that makes any sense. Dan, that's a great, that's a great saying. Feeding into the feederism. Anyway. <laughs> I love Pocky. I got strawberry and I got chocolate of Pocky. Of course, you got to get the Pocky. The Pocky is necessity, especially when it's a typhoon. Natural disasters, get the Pocky. I got this squeezable jelly. This is like a peach jelly cup that has like actual pieces of peach in it. Why is that even like a, why would we even say, hey, it has actual peaches in it. It's called a peach cup, right? I would expect that there would be some peaches in it. It's like, you remember those old McDonald's commercials back in the day where they would brag about having 100% all real beef? And then you just kind of think like, wait, why are you guys even bragging about this? Isn't that what you guys always had? Why is this now something you guys are calling out? Like, intro introducing McDonald's all new items. Come down today and get your Big Mac 100% real beef. As opposed to, I hope that it's real beef. You guys are selling burgers, are you not? Same thing here. I would expect that the fruit cups have actual fruit in the cups. Which is pretty cool. And then it's I not cool. <laughs> can you can, can somebody explain to me why it's cool to have a fruit cup with fruit in it? What else would there be in there, jelly beans, huh? What else would be in the fruit cup? I also got one with mandarin oranges. <sighs> A flashlight is super important. Good that she got a flashlight. That's amazing. Uh, portable chargers. Where's the portable chargers at? Where are the... Now, I don't know. Do they have Walmarts over there in Thailand or whatever, wherever she's at right now? So, Taiwan? Taiwan? Yes. Okay, look. I, you guys are going to say that I'm racist. Oh, David thinks that Taiwan and Thailand are the same thing. They sound kind of the same. A little bit, right? Kind of. Taiwan, Thailand. Same thing, bro. What the fuck you want from me, dude? Tomatoes, tomatoes, bro. They all look the same. No, let me stop, dude. Come on, dude. I love BTS. I'm happy this one actually works has batteries in it sometimes you buy a flashlight and they you should probably buy extra batteries though right i mean you're in a hotel room so not odds are you're not going to be able to get many you should probably have bought extra don't have batteries and then you have to go buy the batteries separately so i'm good that that came with those it. batteries are probably musty damn that face has gotten meaty bro <laughs> I got a bunch of, like, microwave ramen. But the microwave isn't going to be able to turn on, right? Like, if their power is out and there's, like, no electricity, 
what are you gonna do with microwave ramen? I guess you could just like sit there and just <gasps> do that for like 45 minutes and maybe you get something out of it. Damn, Jelly Bean be looking like a 35 year old mother, dude. I feel like I've seen this woman before, dude. This exact shot, I've seen her many, many times before, man. Looking old as hell. A lot of people tell you that when you're fatter, you do look younger because the fat upon your face, it like inflates you. So it makes all your like, maybe your wrinkles, they start to di they start to dissipate because how do you have wrinkles when your face are, your face is like so inflated, right? Like you, you ever see a balloon when you like push, you pump up the air and it starts to deflate a little bit and it's got like little wrinkles on it. It's like that, except the balloon, the balloon is permanently inf uh, inflated. So eventually if Jelly Bean ever did lose the weight, she's keeping that weight on, she's keeping the extra skin on her. Which is always tough. Um, I would never, I would never talk shit about somebody that had loose skin, um, that had it from like pregnancy or whatever. That makes sense. Obviously, the facilitation for of a, a beautiful, amazing child through the processes of having a lubricated egg sac. That's always great. That's amazing. I, I, you know, want it for people that have children. But when you're obese like this, fair game. <laughs> I mean, fair game. Maybe not afterwards. Like, if you have loose skin and you're afterwards and you're trying to lose it, yeah, that's great. I mean, it's awesome. You should probably use it as, like, a sign of, uh, you know, like, this is, like, um, I don't know, like, an award or, like, something like that. Like, this is a calling card for you. Like, you you transcended this. But, uh, dude, she's going to have a lot of, she's going to have a lot of loose skin later on. Two of them things. I got three. three of them things. My bad, dude. Microwave doesn't work. Fuck it, dude. Just just breathe on that hot ass breath on that shit. Things of microwave ramen, to be exact. Do these uh, sparkling apple drinks, okay. and then I got three of these big water jugs. Um, it's kind of like all, uh, all food, man. How long? <laughs> All food, and it's not even good foods either. Like, not even, like, canned foods or anything like that. If you're in a time of... Okay, look, dude. You know what, man? Not everything's going to be a zombie apocalypse. We live in a society where the governments pretty much take care of all of us to one degree or another. You can pretty much rely on a lot of that. But if worse come to worse, canned foods, right? Non-plurishable. So, like, you know, maybe things that you can heat up real fucking quick and stuff like that. Canned food is always going to be great. But this stuff, not so good. Uh, chocolate like roll sort of thing. A pizza with a soft fried egg on top. Good job. Good job, Jelly Bean. So you can eat all this food in one day and then when the typhoon hits, you're just fucked. She looks really old here. My God, dude. What have you been doing with your skincare, bro? Whoo, tough, man. That's tough. Looking real old. What you would call that. she gotta do this man i get it people pay you money to see this stuff of you eating copious amounts of calories or whatever dude but why do you have to do this man you get a coffee and you just slop it down like this man hey damn that was damn bro that's a double you got a double god damn bro calm the fuck down that bite was big as shit you ain't going nowhere bro you're good just God lord! Damn, that's a big ass fucking bite, dude. Damn. Yo, yo, you already had some in your mouth. You're good. Why? Just swallow what you got, man. Take some time. You're good. You don't need to finish this shit in three minutes, right? Every time it doesn't need to be three minutes. You could take your time a little bit. Damn! Oh! It's so hard listening to those mouth noises, dude. I hate it so bad. The wetness, depending on the time and the place that you're in, the sounds of wetness could be delightful. You know the times I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. I'm a, I'm a heterosexual man. I like the sounds of certain appendages. Um, I know a lot of dudes on the internet think I'm gay. A lot of people think that I'm gay. I've seen the people talking about it. Um, I'm not gay. I've never been gay. I never have been gay in my entire life. Uh, I have kissed a man only one time in my life. It was a dare. Don't act like you haven't kissed men. It is what it is, dude. I'm not going out here and sucking men off. I'm not putting my mouth upon another man. I'm a virgin in the mouth and I'm a virgin in the butthole. Um, and I guess, uh, you know, we're talking about gay sex. I'm a virgin. So I, I, a lot of people will sit there and go, David's a zest fest. David's a zest fest. He, he always talks about things that are super suspect. How does he know so much about makeup? How does he know so much about wigs? Have you never dated a woman before? 
is it not appropriate to catch on to things about the person that you're dating? Women know about makeup and women know about wigs. And I just happen to know about all this stuff because most of the women I date are all black. So they know about more of the wig stuff and, you know, putting in uh, lash. Just got my lashes done. Just got my lashes done. Install my wig. So I know about this stuff, okay? It doesn't mean I'm gay. It just means that I, I'm a little bit more knowledgeable on certain things that a lot of people maybe are not knowledgeable on. Um, you know what they say? Someone cooked here. Right? It is what it is. I'm a cultured white dude. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay. And I have no problem with people saying that I'm gay. But I'm obviously not gay because I've only ingested the sensation of a, of a woman. Never a man. Never. But um, I, I forgot what we were talking about. Oh, yeah. We put a whole bunch of disgusting things in our mouth. I don't even know what we're talking about. Damn. Yeah, the mouth noises. That's what I was talking about. The mouth noises are really hard to listen to. It, it, it's just because of the environment that we're in. It's so, like, I know a lot of people like to watch mukbangs because they like to feel like they're around somebody else that's also eating. And it's like you're eating together. But what satisfaction are you getting from watching jelly bean sweets when you're eating your food? Like, are you not, like, sitting there like, yo, close your fucking mouth. You're too fucking loud, jelly bean. Jesus Christ. I'm over here trying to eat my SpaghettiOs and garlic bread. And your mouth is literally making so much noise. I can't even believe it, dude. Like, I got I got my audio on 30% and you're 21%. The audio on 21% here. And I can literally hear your esophagus dying, bro. Your liver crying out for help because it has no liquids at all. And I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear the... Where, where is even the microphone for me to pick up this much noise? It's so, it's so vivid. I can literally hear the, 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 I can hear the molecules. I can hear your teeth. Why do I hear any of that shit? Where's the microphone? In your mouth? How the fuck you gotta close your eyes? It's not that good. It's a McDonald's, it's a McDonald's breakfast sandwich, dude. It's whatever. It's not supposed to be like so good that you gotta melt it. Look at this fucking face. It's McDonald's. Never in my life have you ever seen me put something from McDonald's in my mouth and go, mm -hmm. never, never. I've never seen the lust, the satisfaction, the pure divinity on somebody's face for eating some McDonald's, bro. It's basic, it's basic shit. Wet as fuck around the mouth too, bro. Damn. Ooh, tough. looking at it like that yo bro you had so much in your mouth you had so much I, I why you gotta take bites when the food is already marinated in your throat just swallow what you got move on you don't need to take the double or triple bites is good i don't know why she does this shit so often man you're fucking disgusting dude you're gross you just don't care what this is doing to you man like, you do, you, you, you see the before and afters, right? You see what people would be posting about you. So, like, I just want to know what she's thinking about it. Put hair time or something. Why you even bother covering it up? Your, your hand is so small in comparison to the rest of her body. Keep it. Her hand looks like a little baby hand. It's so, it's so tiny. <laughs> it looks so small like a little a little baby hand compared to the rest of her body like a doll like a little baby doll it's not that good bro. I should look dry as fuck damn where the fuck you get that what are you just spawning food where the hell did you get this shit what is this face bro you ever watch friends hey how you doing how you doing? This is that face right here, bro. What the fuck is this face? You just eating a what? It, what it was a fish fillet. You eating a fish fillet and you over here looking at it like that, like you're you're fucking Robert De Niro in a Scorsese film, looking at somebody before he kills him. What the fuck are you doing? Nah, don't do that. Damn, that bite was big. Damn, you about to four bite that? Good lord. Bro, the double bites gotta be calmed down a little bit, dude. That is too much for me. I can't I can't listen to these noises. And also, why you gotta have so much eye contact when you do this shit, man? I get it. Dudes are beating off. I know dudes is in your comment section just smacking their shit up, right? Marinating their hands with cocoa butter and, and, and other things while they watch you. I get it. I understand. 
But why you gotta make it so obvious, man? Why you gotta make it so goddamn? I know that dudes is beating off, but it, you gotta come on a little bit of ambiguity. It's like, you know, sometimes, right? Girls will be like, oh, I wanna, you know, I just wanna tease him a little bit so he, he knows what I'm looking, so that way he doesn't know where he's going. But I can see everything, right? Like, you know, when girls come in with like bra and panties, you could perfectly see everything or whatever. Uh, I it, 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 This is the same thing. Like, it's choreographed, right? By the way, what's up with the. Uh, What's up with, like, lingerie and stuff like that? I remember, like, this woman was talking to me. She was like, so do you like lingerie? And I was like, no. And you're like, oh, why not? It's, it's, isn't it cute? Isn't it, like, really, really hot? And it's like, not, no, I don't think so. Um, I prefer to just see you naked, right? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about lingerie. Uh, I'm good. I don't, we don't need that. How much is the lingerie? Like, $90, $80? I'm good spending money on things that we're going to take off anyway. That's not what I want. I don't like that. No, I'm good. Uh, I just prefer if you were just naked completely. And that's good. You don't even need to buy anything for that. You're perfectly fine. So I see a lot of people doing that shit. I just don't understand it. Somebody let me know down below what's the point of lingerie. Like, what are we even doing here? I, can, I mean, I can kind of understand it when a dude... It's like print. It's like meat print, right? Uh, if a guy's wearing, like, boxers or something like that, and he comes in before he comes in, he slaps his shit up and has his shit coming down the side of his leg, and you hear, like, the... When he comes in, so it's like, you know, the meat slap it against the leg or whatever. I get that, but I just don't understand lingerie person. Yeah, okay, we all see it, bro. If Jelly if Jelly Bean Sweeps was a zombie, it'd be GG. Man. How much more is there to this video, bro? At least the at least the bun look a little bit wet. Uh -huh. Yes, it's real good, Jelly Bean. Damn, folding it up is crazy, bro. Where is this hidden technique? Woo. Yo, yo, <laughs> where'd you find this shit? Do you have like a magical satchel like Bugs Bunny? You just start pulling shit out. You know what I'm talking about? You ever watch those old, old cartoons where Bugs Bunny would just pull out a giant mallet and hit somebody over the head with it? This is the same shit. Like a magical satchel of McDonald's consistently. And her mouth opening for that food was crazy. Let me see if I can smell it. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> this is what we're doing with our lives, huh, Jelly Bean? This is how you want to live your life? This is how you think that this is... This is what you want to do, huh? You got your great grandfather dying in a coal mine. You had your, you know, your great, your great grandsister. She might have died giving birth, and here you are, uh, you know, swallowing down a good. How many calories is each one of these? Like two hundred calories, swallowing down four hundred calories of some. It's just disrespect, swallowing disrespect, man. Absolute fucking disrespect. Can you imagine showing up to the Mickey D's and the person on the counter think that you you get enough food for the family and it's just for her? Two of them things is crazy. Damn. God damn. Woo. Oh. The mouth noises, bro. I can't. I got we gotta turn that down a little bit. The mouth noises is too much for me, dude. Fuck, dude. It ain't going nowhere. You could you could take your time. It's two of them. Woo! Disgusting. Disgusting. Oh, she knew what she was doing with this, bro. She knew what she was doing with this shit, bro, right? Am I wrong, dude? We all seen the memes, right? Bro, this is the... Equ okay, let me... Look, hey, dude. On the table is crazy. You couldn't be bringing it to your mouth. You had to go to the table. We all know what the fuck this shit is. This is the equivalent of a girl going, hold on. Put the hair to the side. Oh, oh damn. Woo! <coughs> anyway, that's what this is equivalent of, okay? If you're putting your mouth to the table like that, that's what I'm thinking about. That's what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking uh, that's you. It is one, I guess, but God damn, can be a little bit ambiguous. Leave something up to the imagination. God damn. And the way she's shaking it together like that. Oh, mm. 
Disappointed. This is not what I thought life would be like. You remember back in the 60s where people used to think that we'd have flying cars and we would have like pianos that played themselves and we would have like, I don't even know, like your, your family car would take you where you need to go and you would have meals that are like in capsules and you could put in a microwave. Uh, do you think any of those people would have thought this was like what? What it would what it, it would have turned into? Like uh, jelly bean sweets in the year 2024 swallowing down a... I don't even know, like a double stuffed burrito from like a weird Taiwanian, it's not Taiwan, is it Taiwan? It's Taiwan, right? A weird Taiwanian Mexican place? Probably not, probably not. Disappointment! Oh, bro, just take what you got, bro. Why are you eating it like that? Damn, bro, what the fuck? How'd she manage to swallow it all that fast? She gotta get the sauce, obviously. I saw her reaching for it. Damn! Sauce queen here, bro. Why even bother? You would get more money, 100%. People would like it more if you just didn't wipe off your mouth. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Fuck. Every bite gotta have some sauce on it? Yo, what, what was that? Table crust? Fuck. She's so proud of herself, too. She's dip right there on there. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. What are you doing, man? What the fuck was that? What the hell was that, Jelly Bean? Hmm? Just, just, you know what, man? Oh. Why McDonald's every day though? Like, is there? If you're in Taiwan, right? Isn't there like anything else that you can eat? Like, could we, but could we please be bothered to eat some like cultural food, something from the lands themselves, a little bit? You know what I'm talking about? Like, you come to America, eat McDonald's, I get it, uh, but. You know, when people come to McDonald's, what they eat, and it depends on where they go. But I'm going to, you know, if you go to New York, what are you going to get? You're going to get steak and cheese. You're going to get some pizza. You know what I'm talking about? Maybe get an Italian or whatever. I know that's kind of productive, but, you know, that's usually what it is. You go down south, you eat some barbecue, you eat some soul food and shit like that, fried chicken. Um, Taiwan. Going to Taiwan, and somebody said, I'm going to Taiwan to eat McDonald's. I'd be looking at you a little sideways. I'd be, I might, I might look at you and go, hey, what? Why? Why would you do that? Why? Out of everything, out of all the places you can go, out of all the cultural food, you chose to eat that shit? You can't teach an old dog new tricks, I guess. But she's young. She's like 20. Okay, bro. Come on. We get it. We get it. We get it. We get it. I think there was supposed to be a straw in that, but there was no straw. She's like out of breath from eating that shit. It's so so. She said that shit so so, man. So that's what you still gonna eat it though, right? Obviously, it don't matter if the taste. Fuck. Damn, bro. She swallowed. Oh fuck. Her hand is so small. Why even bother? Don't even bother wiping your mouth. How the fuck is she not gonna have the fries too, man? Like, it's crazy to me how she eats it all at once, one at a time. I would think it would be like, I, I, I like fries. I like a little bit of fries when I'm eating Mickey, McDonald's, right? The fries do get a little bit petrified after a little bit of time. They get a little bit flaccid, um, but it's okay, right? But as long as you're eating them at the, the same time, but she doesn't. But, but then again, I guess she's like speed running the, the eating of the food, like she's speed running her life for views. Fuck, oh, bro, the mouth noises! Oh my god, bro. You you know there are people like starving right now, right? I just want to point that out. I 
hate that shit. I hate when people go like this. What is that even supposed to mean, bro? You literally said that shit was so-so, and now you're sitting here doing this? That's not a good indication. If you tell me that shit's so-so, and then you just body slam... Get the fuck out of here, bro. Damn, man. Fuck! The amoebas on that shit? You got a 10-piece, too? Where you get that? It's, it's actually really uncomfortable. I think she united the, the mayonnaise and the ketchup together. Oh. Oh. Just for the money, huh? Dude. Good for you, Jelly Bean. Uh, you know, I'm happy this is the light that you want to be. In a way, this is beautiful that somebody can even make a living doing stuff like this. I don't know how sustainable it is. I don't know if people are eventually going to, like, stop watching her eat this food because it is basically the same shit over and over and over again. Um, and she's slowly but surely losing her life as a consequence of eating the amount of food that she is. But I'm happy that it's working for her now, bro. Um, I guess hashtag get the bag sis if that's how you want to get the bag i mean it's better than i guess like spreading cheeks for me i i don't know man i don't know man whatever regardless um appreciate very appreciate uh everybody watching the video today thank you so much if you did um appreciate if you could leave a like comment subscribe sharing the video all those things i'd appreciate tremendously so if you could do any of that stuff i'd appreciate you tremendously if you watch the video in its entirety I'll leave it down below by typing in fries because I like the McDonald's fries. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I think the McDonald's fries are really good. It doesn't really matter where you go either. Um, they're always good regardless of where you get them. And there have been a few times where the fries have been a little bit musty. It kind of smelled like somebody had maybe took the, the deep fryer offline for a minute and just deep fried them underneath their armpits or something like that. I was smelling a whole bunch of Puerto Rican man armpit sweat. But it's all good, dude. You know, I'm not going to... Hey, bro. You know, back in the day when you used to be able to get a small fry for a dollar, now it's at a two fifty. Two fifty. Can you imagine that? Two fifty for a small fry? Suck me off, bro. These fries ain't worth that much. They're good, but they ain't that good. Get the fuck out of here for a small one. Suck me. Suck me off, bro. But anyway, guys. You're amazing. I'm happy that you're able to conquer your demons. I'm happy you're able to confront your fears. I'm happy that you're able to lose that weight. I'm happy that you're able to get into the gym. I'm happy that you took that walk today. I'm happy that you put the water in your mouth. I'm happy for all that stuff because that makes you a better person overall. And I really love that about you. I love that you're willing to take the risk. And I love that you're willing to use take yourself as an example to lead other people. And that's really, really desirable of you. I really appreciate that. I love the way your armpits don't smell bad today. That's really great that you put on that deodorant. I didn't put on any deodorant today because I'm all natriel. But anyway, I'm happy that you did. This is a star patch. If anybody's questioning, I have a little pimple right here on the side of my face. Um, it's a heart. Can you see it? It's a heart. Anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my socials, it will be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. 